big shock Nigerians. Hours after INEC affirmed Atiku's victory, got to receive fresh message. See why Tunibu must be impeached. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The former vice president and candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, has presented his final written address to the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, in Abuja, urging the court to declare him the winner in 21 states in the February 25th presidential election. Atiku's claim is based on the response filed by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on its petition seeking to nullify President Bola Tinubu's election. In his address, Atiku argues that INEC, in his reply, neither contested nor denied the assumption that he won the presidential contest in the following states. Adamawa, Akwaibom, Bauchi, Bayasa, Boronu, Daita, Ekiti, Gombe, Jigawa, Kaduna, Kastina, Kebi, Kogi, Kwara, Nasarawa, Niger, Ocean State, Sokoto, Taraba State, Yobe, and Zafara State. He emphasizes that INEC's failure to reflect his claim throughout the proceedings should be considered as an admission in its favor. The former vice president contends that the electoral body's alleged manipulation of the verification technology and improper declaration of the winner significantly affected the election's outcome. Atiku also challenges President Tinubu's ineleg ineligibility to contest the presidential election, raising concerns about consistencies in Tinubu's personal, personal information and undisclosed accusation of Guinea citizenship. Atiku, having called 27 witnesses, and presented documentary evidence, prays for the court to revoke President Tinubu's certificate of return issued by INEC, the PDP candidate's illegal team, stress that their case is rooted in evidence and merit, urging the court to consider the gravity of the alleged infractions. <laughs> Throughout the trial, the respondents, including President Tinubu and INEC, have maintained that the petition lacks merit and should be dismissed. They are saying that the evidence presented by Article's team is insufficient to overturn the election results. Article's case highlights the importance of transparency and hindrance to electoral laws during the electoral process. The former vice president contends that the manipulation of voting technology and other irregularities negatively impacted the credibility of the election and undermined the democratic process. As the PEPC deliberates on the case, the nation's eyes are focused on the outcome of the court's decision will not only determine the legitimacy of the 2023 presidential election but also set a precedent for future electoral disputes. And it is essential for the court to thoroughly evaluate the evidence presented by both parties and make an impartial judgment because this is what Nigerians are saying. Give us just justice. Keep our democracy safe. To uphold the integrity of the electoral process, the credibility and stability of Nigerians' democracy rests on the court's ability to deliver a fair and justice verdict. The verdict will also have for far-reaching implications for the political landscape of the country. 
as it could either reaffirm President Tinubu's mandate or lead to a new electoral process if the court rules in favor of Article. The judiciary's rule, role as the custodian of justice and the protector of the, the rule of law is vital in maintaining the nation's democratic values. As Nigerians, anxiously await the court decision. It is crucial for all parties to respect the judiciary process and uphold the rule of law, regardless of the outcome. The spirit of democracy calls for as acceptance and support of the court's ruling to ensure a peaceful transition of power and continued national stability. In conclusion, the fate of Nigeria's 2023 presidential election lies in the hands of the PEPC, the Presidential Election Petition Court. Atiku Abubakar's petition raises crucial questions about the transparency and the credibility of the electoral process, necessitating a thorough and fair evaluation of the evidence presented. The nation awaits the court's judgment with parted breath, hoping that it will uphold the principles of democracy and set a precedent for future elections. Nigerians really want to see the end of this. Well, you have all heard it, guys. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.